Copper's Cove Independent School District has put out a $175 million bond proposal for voters to decide on in the May election. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us in the newsroom to explain why the district made this proposal and what they hope to accomplish. MG Copper's Cove Superintendent Dr. Joe Burns says this is the first bond proposal passed like this in nearly 20 years. The district anticipates student growth and wants to plan for the future. The challenge now is we have a growing student population at a high school, about 2,200 students, and we're projected to gain another 1,000 students in the next few years and then another 2,000 in the next eight to 10 years. Copper's Cove High School was originally built as a junior high school 50 years ago to hold 1,000 students. They've done four different renovations on it and still have room for improvement. There'll be the addition of 55 classrooms. Currently, we have almost 30 teachers at the high school that do not have a dedicated homeroom. They're what we call a traveling teacher. They um, take a cart and they carry all their materials and some of them move every period of every day. The Copperas Cove High School renovation would also relocate and remodel athletic facilities. Two athletic spaces needing an uplift are the baseball and softball facilities. Right now, the dressing rooms are in the basement. Well, that dressing room has flooded a number of times and so uh, and we've done dirt work trying to get the water out of there and do all that, but it just is at a point in a bad place, a bad location that you can't get the water out of there fast enough without it backing up into the building. The $175 million bond will also improve security at each elementary school. If the bond isn't passed in May, the district will work to find other solutions to help students succeed. If you want more information on the bond proposal, you can click on this story at fox4d4news.com for the link. In the newsroom, Earl Sotomayor, Fox 44 News. Thanks, Earl.